<clears throat> so welcome everyone to tonight's heat call and we have a special guest on tonight who's fabulous looking i'm looking at her right now alita fire and she's going to uh be talking about summer and how we can do our business in the summertime so take it away alita Oh, well, thank you, Carrie. I'm really happy to be able to do this. I actually really like the summertime for building business. I think it's one of the best times to build our business. Um, and so what I'm going to talk to you about tonight is just uh, some simple, easy ways that you can build your business and some simple, maybe 10 little um, ideas for you to maybe take note of and maybe pass on to your team so that they can also make the most out of their summer. And a lot of times people get kind of freaked out thinking that, you know, oh my gosh, summertime, everybody's saying for vacations. I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to anybody, but I look at it really differently. First and foremost, we have to check, do a mind check, right? We have to see where we're at. So when we organize our calendar, I always put my two conferences in and I always make a habit of that boot camp in every summer because it really does, you know, we talk about our product bridge in the gap health wise. And our business kind of bridging the gap for some people financially but the boot camp in the middle of the summer really does bring the two conferences together so you don't feel like you know you're losing traction and I think it's a really really good way to keep yourself motivated fresh up to date with the late and greatest stuff people are up to and I, I just think that's a really important aspect of organizing your calendar so in the summertime, we want to look at the atmosphere of most of the homes, right? The kids, don't, sometimes they're in your way. They're screaming in the phone. You're, you have fear of them screaming in the phone. And so it's really all about verbiage. It's all about engaging your family to help you out. You know, so some of them have camps they're going to. Um, so, you know, a lot of times moms or dads can go early, pick them up early, so that you can expect to talk to another mom or dad or a grandpa when you go early to those and you know you can really it's all about the verbiage so you know you could say things like gosh you know I hope they get out on time we have a really healthy pizza making celebration party today and I really don't want them to miss that and wait for the comment you know we talk too much I think that's really important I, I really believe I love the term solutioneer so and I think people will tell you a lot about themselves based on you know where they're at what they're going what they're concerned about if we only would listen you know I remember being in Q school and I remember Randy Matthews and we had some of the trainers say who are the best reps and it was actually the introverts you know why because they listen <laughs> they wish the extroverts would shut up <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um, you know, I just really love this kind of thing, coming up with creative ways of working the business. That's actually, I love it. I mean, I could just spend all day, every day doing that. I like it when somebody has a problem that I can solve and do this. So, um, you know, I have gotten customers in movie theaters, barbershops, Trader Joe's, sitting next to people in restaurants, uh, the guy who fixed my stove when it was out of order, um, soccer moms, uh, the guy who fixed my spa, uh, my state farm agent, flight attendants, a store in the mall, hairdressers, booths, on the beach in Corona Del Mar, at the post office. And I think summertime is a great time to ask for referrals, to find the curious, to be captivating enough so that you can say, gosh, you know, you know what I do. And I know you're probably really sick of me telling you what I do. But do you know of anybody that really has been struggling this last school year with their kids' health? Do you know anybody that really wants to keep their kids in Christian schools? Because I'm really looking to build my business in this area. When I was in France, the two girls I went with, I ended up going to bed early. So I just went down to a bistro and I met the neatest gal. She was 26, speaks seven languages. And I just really was, it was really intrigued by her and asked her a ton of questions. And she is complete. I just sent her, a box of stuff where she wants to be a rep and um, you know it's so funny because I really recommend when you do travel to take everything with you because it cost I think sixty dollars to mail everything I needed to mail to her so um, <laughs> just have your shakes have everything in your suitcases with you I love that term that somebody at one of the conferences said uh, be a, 
I think she was saying be um, dressed right or be be prepared right. And what she was talking about is having all those items, having that swag bag in your car at all times. So I also think that it's really important to get your family engaged. Now it can be a family collaboration and reward them when they're extra careful not to scream in your ear. So I don't like to reward kids all the time because we're rewarding kids for everything these days. We have smelly erasers and stickers and all kinds of stuff just for, you know, wanting them to develop good habits. And so I don't really like to reward my kids or my grandkids with things so much, you know, they should just have find joy in getting a good grade or find joy in helping others or just being considerate actually, you know, what about being considerate? <laughs> so we have to do a bit of organizing to minimize those interferences. So, uh, those of you who have husbands or partners or people in your house, you can ask them to watch the kids while you're on a phone for half an hour. Uh, those of you with older kids can pitch in and create some things for the younger kids to do. And they can come up with all kinds of things, get their creativity going and their mind going. When I was little, I was the oldest of eight. So I created two clubs in the summer. One was called the Tippy Top Club. <laughs> and the other one was called the Googly Eyes Club. And so I created these clubs and I ended up finding all these kids in the neighborhood and I would do projects with them and it was really fun, you know, and I think that, you know, your kids can do that with the kids that are in the family, let alone somebody in the neighborhood. So with all that being said, I think it's really important for you to be, for us to be the best rep in our organization, right? So summertime, we're relaxed and well, we should appear to be relaxed. So when you have a dear friend in the business and you ask them how they're doing, it's okay for somebody like Carrie to say to me, oh my gosh, I'm swamped. I can't believe it, but it's all good. But you have somebody that's constantly saying, I'm going crazy. I can't stand it. It's so, so busy. I don't know where to start. I'm like, do you say that to everybody you answer the phone with? Because you know what? I wouldn't want to sign up for that. If I heard somebody saying that all the time to me, I wouldn't want to say, uh, sign up. I would like go, whoa, get me away from her. And I don't even care what she does. I don't want any part of it. So being relaxed yourself and just really engaging and really being curious about what the other person does. You know, they're asking you questions. How's your business? Business is great. We're so proud to have our 40th medical study. Ah, and I love helping people, you know, earn money and make money. So they, you know, I just love it. Some of us are counting the ways till we quit our job or, or back off of our job. And this business has allowed us to do that. And so when you're sitting at the beach, you know, be in a state of gratitude or relaxation. Just I can't imagine being anywhere else. This is so cool. And all I have to do is do like a 10 minute call. Oh, well, you know, I mean, just have fun with it. Be joyful, you know, share from your heart. And a lot of people are relaxed too. So they're going to be open. I think people are more open in the summer. I think, you know, I got five customers and a, and a rep when I was in France and I really didn't talk about the business that much or the cup or the product. Uh, but you run into people all the time and summertime is a time that you reconnect with your families. You have barbecues, you start shred 10 with friends. You talk about doing a salad and a jar party, a smoothie swim party get togethers with moms and kids, put them on the calendar. I find if you put the things on your calendar, then create day that you'll be way more successful than if you plan to plan. <laughs> if you're like creating to create, I think it's important to just put it on the calendar because you have that coming up and you'll be able to just go full speed ahead and just create that event. I find that a lot of people are getting ready to get ready. And I just feel like, just do it. Put it on your calendar and do it. Look at your summer and just put three or four things a month in that calendar and ask your teams to do the same thing. You know, I think it's important for them to do the same thing you're doing. And if you're not doing it, they won't do it. So how about a customer appreciation day or a potluck where the kids all swim? Bring out the omegas and the shakes and tell everybody about them. You know, on our missiondrivenmodel.com or missiondrivensystem.com, it's, it, they all both go to the same thing. 
creating the best customer experience, there is a link there. And on the customer care ideas on that website, they have uh, all kinds of things. They have customer events, they have presentation invites, they have verbiage ideas, they have event ideas like yoga on the beach, taste of shred, uh, shred 10 events, steak and shake events, salad in a jar, Zumba and smoothies. In fact, going down to Cabo San Lucas Thursday, if everything's okay with my dad, and I've already organized um, my sister to do a Pilates core workout by the, in the pool, by the pool, and I'm going to add the Juice Plus uh, portion to it. So you can set up some of this stuff ahead of time. I've heard that a lot of reps will, before they go into conferences or boot camps, they'll go a day early. And if they're a yoga person, they'll call the yoga studios and say, I'm in town for a great conference, and I thought I'd like to come by. I heard your, your studio was awesome, and I'd like to share with you a little bit about what I'm learning and what I'm doing. Now, that's, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone because it's cold calling. But what's wrong with doing a couple of those when, you, when you're heading to that boot camp? So um, I like to weave in the Juice Plus and the, and the Tower and you better believe I have tower garden pictures stored in my cell phone, as well as little images of skin miracles and some testimonies. You know, the HLR page is amazing. They're always adding things to the page constantly. I was floored when I saw this stuff. So I'm, I'm just going to, um, let's see, it's 614. I am going to end with a few things like, uh, I think the neatest, uh, you know, when, when you're, people are talking to you in the summer, they're relaxed. Okay, first of all, I think most of them are. So, you know, you can say things like, I found the neatest way to pay off my Christmas bills early. This may interest you. Uh, I know you wanted to keep your kids in that school. Would you be open to watching or looking or reading something that might help? And then I always ask them, what's the best way you learn? Because if they can't stand to read and they just are, you know, cell phone people, then I, I really address how they like to learn so that they're able to tap into that, that learning process easier for them. I like to drop seeds and follow up uh, summer, like um, how do you look, how do you feel about what you're doing, share that passion, leave your bottles out, put some DVDs and CDs in a basket your front door with a ribbon around them. So that if people drop by, you can go, oh, I was going to tell you I wanted to send you this, but I just so happen to have it right here, you know, um, and ask them. And when, when you give it to them, I'm so excited to hear what you think about this. I'm going to give you a call next week. Hey, never stop the kids from learning. So you could put that primetime DVD in for the kids and watch it and have them write a paragraph about the best thing Dr. Sears said and reward them with a smoothie popsicle or a movie to watch in the hot afternoon. I think that our videos are really easy. I used to always embellish ed education with my kids when I was raising them at home because I, they would just drive me nuts, all six kids running around. Ah! <laughs> so I would have like a little learning time. So when I'm traveling, um, examples of where I share. First of all, you have to be bold, right? So we're all learning how to be bold, how to be confident and you know, I remember going up to one of the bars at the place I stay at in Cabo, and they're all having fun and drinking and laughing, right? So I'll just walk up and I'll say, hey, who has grandkids who eats bad? And so everybody's like totally into it because everybody has grandkids that eat bad. <laughs> and so um, then you ask a lot of questions and you have them talk the worst foods they eat, right? So you make it fun for them. So, okay, let's, let's talk the worst foods your grandkids have eaten. And so then they get engaged and make it fun. And then you just weave in something like, you know, I want to talk to you guys later. And don't even tell them about it then because you're going to be there a whole week. So you're going to run into them. Get their curiosity so that when they see you, they go, hey, what were you talking about? And what, what were you actually going to say? You know, you want them to ask you the questions. The more questions they ask you, they're buying it from you. So if you're constantly giving them all the answers, you're actually buying it back from them because they're not going to want to, they're not going to want to buy it after that. So I like to comment at buffets <laughs> if it looks good or not. 
or what they're eating at the time in front of them. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It looks so healthy. Do you eat healthy all the time? You know, I like to mention things like, hey, I notice I'm not, you know, getting sunburned as much when I, when I'm going out in the sun or I'll say things out loud. Sometimes I'll be talking um, when I'm hiking or walking or well, not swimming because you can pretty much destroy your phone. But when I'm hiking, I'll, I'll be talking to somebody. And if it's somebody like a friend, I go, just humor me for a while. I'm going to talk on the phone about what I do. And one time I did that and there was a nutritionist walking behind me. I was like, yeah, I just can't get over it. So many great things have happened to her since she started. And I just can't, and she was so curious. She stopped me and she said, what were you talking about? I so am into that. So I actually got a customer hiking on the mountain by me pretending like I was selling it to somebody on the phone who was a friend of mine who was okay with it. <laughs> so, um, you know, those of you who are gun shy, it's so much easier to be on the phone and pretend like you're talking to somebody. <laughs> right? So, um, make sure you travel with enough samples. That's what I mean is like, you make sure you do that. Always, always, always have them in your, in your, um, in your um, purse or your bag and you know, tower garden fun in the summer for most of you here in Arizona is a little tricky. Tim blank is actually coming in. He wants to make Arizona the indoor tower garden capital of the United States. So we have like five tours and he's going to talk all about indoor gardening. Wow. So instead of like Tower Garden Fun, you know how they have Build-A-Bear? You've heard of that, right? How about how to build a tower, build a, build a salad, build a green smoothie, race to see how long it takes somebody to build a tower. So some, those are just some ideas around towers, you know, and, and then your family vacation, of course, your family knows what you do. No need to hammer it home again and again and again. Things might have changed for them, so you have to be open listen and be a solutioneer, hear their hot buttons. So, you know, when I went for my dad's 90th a couple years ago, I actually had one of my cousins ask me if she would be any good at doing what I do. She already knows what I do, right? There's no re reason to like throw up again all over everybody. So when you hear their hot, hot buttons, I'm telling you it's really important because they actually, they, they actually have more changes than you would think. People change their, um, their financial, their financial ch uh, status changes, their health st status changes more often than you would think. Never um, rule out somebody that you once talked to. So, you know, um, you know, and if you have people that are like pretty brainiacs or, you know, they're nurses or anything, you know, you could say like, you know, listen, Michelle, I know you're a PA and all that, and you know all this stuff, but I'm so excited to be getting residual income this way. You know, when I retire, I'll, I'll be adding to my Social Security. Well, I didn't get a pension, so I'm really loving this. And so, you know, you, there's a way to weave in to the conversation what might be, um, that's why this whole idea of getting people to have their stories that where it's so fluid and it flies off their tongue that when they're in front of somebody that, maybe you need to tweak it a bit, you can actually add some of those great, you know, some of that great verbiage to it. So um, you want to promise, I promise you after a while that you're not going to jam it down their throat. You want them to be intrigued and curious and, uh, you know, really have, have uh, a lot of questions for you. And finally, because it happened to me <laughs> with Chris Cotton, look down your genealogy report. And make a commitment to call two people way down that list that you, now they have the, 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 you know, the date on when the person started. So I'm a, sub, I'm a support, you know, say something. I'm a support to Barbara. I was checking in. You're important to us. How do you like your Juice Plus? I noticed you're only taking the duo. Did you know you could do this with other people? Did you know you can get paid on your own product? Actually, I got a rep that way telling them that they can handle their own orders and possibly bring in some extra income. And she was bedridden and she ended up doing it. So hopefully this will give you a head start in making your summertime living easy with Juice Plus in the Tower Garden. So if there's any questions, I can field some of those, but that's basically some of it in a nutshell. Good job. So, awesome. 
that was incredible. I was wondering, I know there's a lot of people on the phone that don't know um, Alita's story um, and how Chris reached down. Could you guys share that? Sure. I was taking Juice Plus for 20, well, I was taking it for 12 years, and I get a phone call one night from this guy, and he said, hey, how's your business going? And I had so many other businesses. I was doing event planning. I had a school I started. I was doing fitness training, and uh, I didn't know what he was talking about. And then when uh, he said, Juice Plus business, we're having a great speaker come in town. So, you know what? Timing is everything, I guess, you know, and uh, for me, I had just gone through a divorce and I never thought I would, you know, I, my child support check barely handled the massages I wanted to get weekly. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was open to it. So I brought a couple friends and we went and, you know, I didn't go by myself. Did you hear that? I didn't even know what I was going to. I brought a couple friends and those friends tapped in and I know they say the people who get you to one level will not be the same people who get you to the next one. But I really encourage you to ask other people to go with you to some of these things. And um, I just, uh, I just, I really kind of dabbled in it for several years, just kind of handed, you know, here and there um, and ended up meeting Michelle because she was like way down. I didn't even know her. So most of the people I think that, you know, I didn't know Chris and Nikki and they actually are like front line to me now because my sister, didn't know there was a business and she was the one that shared it with all of us in the family <laughs> so I ended up joining the business and playing with it for a while and then I got serious and um, here I am <laughs> Rush is geez. <laughs> all right, good job thanks Alita and a couple things I want to oh go on Chris 